press the right hand button on the Burkhardt Top Control 8630 to change from automatic to manual mode. Close the valve manually by pressing the middle button. Pressing the left hand button will vent captured air. Remove the air supply from the valve when the valve is completely closed and all of the control air has escaped. Remove spring tension for normally closed executions with a minimum of 5 bar or 75 psi of control air. Turn the bayonet seal of the top control counterclockwise to catch and pull over the cover upwards. A mechanical connection allows the top control to track the valve stroke. Use an auxiliary tool to disconnect the driver fork from the guide pin of the path measuring system. You can also do this manually with a little bit of practice. Carefully insert the tool from the top all the way down to the valve stem. The auxiliary tool will fit firmly onto the valve stem. Now carefully turn the auxiliary tool clockwise and the driver fork will click away from the guide pin noticeably. You can now remove the auxiliary tool. Use an Allen wrench to loosen the two fastening screws opposite one another. Now you can lift the top control from the valve. Check again to make sure that the valve is open and can be removed from the line without danger. Now loosen the upper body clamp. Release the compressed air and the valve insert will partially lift out of the housing. The auxiliary air line can be removed. The valve insert can be removed from the housing. Place valve insert into the valve housing. Remove spring tension with at least 5 bar, 75 psi of auxiliary control air so that the insert drops into the housing by itself. Tighten the housing clamp. Make sure that the guide pin of the path measuring system is in the uppermost position before mounting the top control. This will ensure you can easily lock the pin in the driver fork. Carefully mount the top control over the actuator stem and firmly press it down in the vertical direction. Use an Allen key to tighten the two fastening screws in the base of the top control. Turn the bayonet seal of the top control counterclockwise to the catch and pull off the cover upwards. Use an auxiliary tool to latch the driver fork onto the pin from the path measuring system of the control head. You can also do this manually with a little bit of practice. Make sure that the nose of the auxiliary tool is on the left-hand side from your point of view before you carefully insert it through the switching spindle from the top. Push the auxiliary tool downwards to position the path measuring system pin and driver fork at the same height. Then carefully turn the auxiliary tool counterclockwise until the driver fork clicks onto the pin noticeably you can remove the auxiliary tool. Check correct actuator operation by switching two to three times. Remove the auxiliary control air and connect the control air line coming from the top control. Finally, you have to attach and fasten the top control cover. Make sure that the O-ring is in position and does not twist when closing the cover. Also make sure wires are not caught when closing the cover. Finally, please ensure that the top control 8630 is again set to the automatic mode.
press the right hand button for 5 seconds until Act Funk appears in the display. You can get to the Xtune display by pressing the middle button several times. Then press the right hand button for another 5 seconds and the auto-tune process runs automatically, going through several X-Tune phases. This may take 3 to 8 minutes, depending upon the design. As soon as Tune End appears in the display, the auto-tune process is completed. Press the right hand button to exit the process and return to the menu. Xtune appears in the display. Press the middle button several times until end appears in the display. Acknowledge the auto tune process with the right hand button. The parameters are now saved. Finally, please ensure that the top control 8630 is again set to the automatic mode. The cut-off function shuts off the valve control function in the upper and lower end zone of the stroke. The valve opens or closes completely as soon as it moves into the set percentages. You have to add this function from the sub-menu into the main menu before you can configure the cut-off function. Press the right hand button 5 seconds until Act Funk appears in the display. Use the arrow keys to select the Add Funct menu item. Confirm the selection with the right hand button and Correct appears in the display. Use the arrow keys to search for the added cutoff function. The star symbol appears in the display as soon as you confirm the selection with the right hand button. Use the arrow keys to select the End Funct menu item and confirm the selection with the right hand button. Add Funct appears in the display. You are in the main menu again. Use the arrow keys to select the cutoff function for the settings again. Confirm the selection with the right hand button and Cut appears in the display. Use the arrow keys to insert the desired lower value that completely closes the valve if it drops below these values. For example, here the value is set to 10%. Press the right hand button again to be able to set the upper range. The valve automatically opens completely as soon as it exceeds the value in the valve's mode of operation. For example, the upper value is set here to 90%. Confirm your settings with the right hand button. You are in the main menu again and Cut Off appears in the display. Use the arrow keys to select the end menu and confirm the input with the right hand button. The EEPROM display indicates that you are in the manual output mode again. Finally, please ensure that the top control 8630 is again set to the automatic mode. The valve closes completely in the example shown here at values below 10% and opens completely at values above 90%.